Welcome back to Orange Chat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So, another day, another Ezra Miller report. Uh, according to a source at Deadline, Ezra Miller will not be part of any future DC projects after The Flash, regardless if there are any more allegations or not. There has currently been no decision made on how to deal with their involvement in The Flash. Now, that was from the Discussing Film uh, Twitter. They cite their source from Deadline. And I'm going to Deadline here. And as of 7.12 p.m., Last night, um, Zavlav's, or Zazlav, yeah, Zazlav's first movie crisis. What to do with Ezra Miller, the erratic star of Warner Brothers' $200 million Flash franchise launch? Well, that is interesting, because if they're trying to make the Flash a franchise... They do need to get rid of Ezra Miller because Ezra Miller is now poison for them. So let's get into this article. This is from Deadline. Even though it isn't one of Warner Brothers release or isn't on Warner Brothers release calendar until June twenty third, twenty twenty three. Well, the Flash is becoming Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav's first movie crisis because the escalating coverage of incidents of volatile and odd behavior involving the film star, Ezra Miller. Zaslav has made clear his desire to grow the DC Universe to MCU scale and has all the ingredients of a first foot forward in The Flash, including the return of Michael Keaton as Batman along with a reprise by Ben Affleck, a $200 million budget and a hot director in Andy Muschietti who delivered the blockbuster It for the studio. The Warner Brothers Discovery CEO exercised his well-known penchant for micromanagement by declining to greenlight the Wonder Twins for being too niche. Or niche. Whatever. Zavlav will have to soon make a decision on what to do with the complete picture that is The Flash and what to do with a young actor who appears to have serious offset issues well david or deadline has heard the studio has tried getting help for miller well that's news but the troubling headlines continue to pile up could you send a potential liability on a global publicity tour and have the actor anchor a huge studio franchise play not in this case honestly not in this case Warner Brothers Discovery CEO Zavlav, if you are listening to this, I'm only one voice, but I do share the opinion of many. Me, And when I say many, I mean thousands to ten thousands and possibly even more, that you're going to have your film boycotted if this shit continues. Not to mention... You're going to have your film boycotted if Ezra Miller remains the Flash, period. If he's even in the movie. Just like Amber Heard, if she is in the movie Aquaman, that movie will be boycotted by millions of people. You are, now, you have the same problem with Ezra Miller. You have two people who are trash, who have abused people, assaulted people, and made people very uncomfortable personally, and yet... You employed them and kept them. Everybody says how great court of public opinion is until it is used against them. Well, now it is being used against you. Court of public opinion says, get rid of Ezra Miller. Recast his scenes. You did so with Kevin Spacey. You did so with Johnny Depp. You can do it. With Ezra Miller. Zavlav has several choices and he will make one of them soon. Among them, he can pull back on heavily promoting the summer 2023 film, confining it to some PA and no publicity tour. PA? Okay, yeah. Or he can relegate it to streaming with HBO Max and take a write down. Or, 
lean in toward making a movie a hit, and then drop Miller if they can't straighten things out. Warner Brothers did that when it dropped Johnny Depp from Grindelwald character in the Fantastic Beast franchise after the actress or actor's well-publicized unsuccessful UK lawsuit. The studio replaced Depp with Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, they were, or we all know how bent the uh, UK's laws and how their court system is. It is in no way the same as the United States court in which he had just won his case against Amber Heard, which kind of makes the UK's case very suspect. There is no winning in this for Warner Brothers, one studio source tells us. This is an inherited problem for Zaslav. The hope is that the scandal will remain at a low level before the movie is released. Well, I can tell you this, that, it, that won't happen. And hope for the best to turn out. Well, here's the thing. Um, Zaslav, is it? You continue to have him on board, and people will continue to speak out. Not at a low level. We will continue to raise our voices until you hear us. He's not good for your company. He's literally poisoning it with his mere presence. Source says, even... Or said, even if there is no allegation or no more allegation service or surface, sorry, the studio won't likely keep Miller in the Flash role in future DC films. That would mean replacing him in the future, but there is still a $200 million investment on the line with the first film. And Warner Brothers execs have been or have to be cringing at each new press report. Oh, yeah. There have been two more rounds of unflattering headlines just in the last two weeks for the 29-year-old Miller, who identifies as non-binary. The Daily Beast reported that there was a temporary harassment prevention order in this week from a 12-year-old and a mother in Greenfield, Massachusetts, against the actor after Miller allegedly menaced the family and acted inappropriately toward the non-binary child. If you ask me, that is a mentally confused child. Last week, the parents of an 18-year-old named Dakota Iron Eyes filed paperwork asking a judge to issue an order of protection against the actor on behalf of their child, saying Miller groomed and brainwashed her. Ezra uses violence, intimidation, threats of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs to hold sway over a young adolescent, Takata. Reading the filing, which was obtained by multiple outlets, and it goes on into that. And prior to the recent news about Takaya's parents' allegations against Miller, the actor was arrested twice in Hawaii for dust-ups at karaoke bar in March, followed by an arrest for second degree assault at a resident last or a month later for allegedly throwing a chair at a woman at a private party Miller attended cutting her forehead during the first incident Hawaii Police Department Hilo Patrol reported that Miller became agitated when patrons began singing shallow from a star is born Miller began yelling obscenity. Yeah, they go over that. Two days later, the couple who lived with Miller at a hostel filed a restraining order against the actor, which they ended up dropping after he threatened to bury them. Yeah. Uh, it just piles on and on, folks. Not to mention the other ten reports before those two major reports in Hawaii. He had the cops called on him twelve times. So, yes, this is not good for him. Warner Brothers has so far declined on comment on Miller or where these mounting incidents will leave the studio and actor's future. Deadline has reached out to Miller's legal reps and will update should they have any statements about the recent restraining orders against the actor. So, yeah, folks, this just basically... Continues to get worse for Miller. He's no longer going to be the Flash after this film. Although, if uh, they are smart, if 
Warner Brothers is smart, they will have to make this a write-off. They should just write it off. The movie, or the Flash movie, can easily be recast with somebody else. Grant Gustin comes to mind when a lot of CW fans think he is a gr better Flash. I think he was a great Flash in the first three seasons. However, when they started to cuck his character, I stopped watching it. So, yeah. I think that this uh, stuff with Ezra Miller continues to pile up. I think he deserves jail, not a mental institution, but jail, because he has broken the law, harmed people, women, and has menaced children and their families. So yeah, I think that accountability needs to happen. As a person who knows the inner workings of detention centers and justice centers, I know for a fact that they can get him mental health uh, help inside of a jail. So, yeah, send him to jail. Not a mental institution. Anyway, folks, that's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. What do you think should happen to Ezra Miller? Uh, I know there are a lot of people with some very heated opinions in my comment section. Try to keep them a little bit more uh, realistic because, let's be fair, wishing death upon somebody is never good. And I will not acknowledge that kind of comment in my comment section. Anyway, folks, this has been Orange Hat Reviews. Stay humble.